this one's for John. Pat Boland spent a lifetime lifting others up. Today, I'm here to thank you for what you did for this organization. From his team. One, two, three. Broncos! All right, all right. To his community. Have a moment of silence here for the uh, victims and the families of the Columbine High School tragedy. Tonight, we say goodbye to a man who made his sport and his state better. This one's for Pat! Well, Pat Bowen didn't start the Broncos, but he perfected them. A team known for losing suddenly became a standard bearer for excellence, and Denver fell in love with football forever. Pat Bolin died last night at the age of 75 after a long battle with Alzheimer's disease. It is a cruel end for a man who lived a vibrant, full life. From negotiating TV deals for the NFL to putting tens of millions of dollars of his own money into Colorado charities, Bolin's influence was felt far and wide. And the fans loved him for it. They've been showing up all day, stopping by Mile High Stadium and flooding social media to pay their respects to a man known to many as simply Mr. B. And in a moment, Megan Lopez will introduce us to some of those fans. We're going to begin with Broncos Insider Troy Rank and an interview with one of Pat Bowen's best friends, Mike Shanahan. Troy? Yes, it was a difficult day today for Broncos country, Shannon and Ann. But as the sadness hit, it eventually evolved into a celebration of Pat Boland's life. I talked to multiple players today who spoke of their admiration, respect, and love for Mr. B as he is known. Perhaps no one was closer to him than Coach Mike Shanahan. I had a chance to sit down with Coach today at his house, and he explained to me how Boland set the tone for the entire Broncos franchise. I think it all starts with the, the owner. With Everything starts at, at the top. He had a standard, the way he wanted to do things, the way he wanted to run the organization with class. He wanted you to win with character. He wanted you to do it the right way. And that all starts from the top. And he's going to give you every chance to get there, too. He's going to, it didn't matter what it was. If you asked for something, he was going to find a way to do it. Now, he wasn't the richest owner, but he was the most driven owner, I believe, because he wanted that championship as bad as anybody I've ever been around. What always struck me about Mr. B was that he had an obsession for winning, yet he was able to strike a balance and show compassion with players. And as Shanahan told me today, he didn't meddle. He hired the right people and let them do their job. A very humble guy, a shy. He was the type of guy that uh, when I was an assistant coach, all of a sudden when we didn't go to you know, the Super Bowl or we went to Pro, Pro Bowls, he's, he'd find a way to get, to, get you to why. That was the type of guy he was. He's going to do the little things the right way, and it doesn't matter if it was with players, coaches, the organization in general. He's going to make sure that that hard work uh, was appreciated, and you knew it was appreciated. Passion, that was the defining traits for Pat Bolin. Here's the number that sticks out for me in part of his legacy, seven. That's how many Super Bowl berths they've had in 35 years under Bolin, and that's how many losing seasons. That tells you the type of success Bolin had and created here in Denver for this city, for this state, and for this region. His legacy will be submitted when he goes into the Hall of Fame in Canton this summer, long overdue for what I believe is the greatest sports owner in Colorado history. Back to you in the studio. Oh, and that really says something. Thank you, Troy. 